Microsoft has revealed that PC drivers are now available for the Xbox One controller. Major Nelson himself made the announcement, linking to the driver downloads that enable controller support for any game that supported the Xbox 360 controller. It's been a long time coming, but we're finally here, guys. Microsoft boss Phil Spencer has revealed that the June Xbox One dev kit will give developers more access to the Xbox One computing power. On Twitter, Spencer said June Xbox One software dev kit gives developers access to more GPU bandwidth, more performance, new tools, and flexibility to make games better. This seems to be in line with what Yusef Mehdi had mentioned in the past that the company was looking at ways to make it easier for developers to get more power out of the console, especially by tapping into the 10% of CPU reserved for the Kinect. An entry listing on Amazon France may indicate that a Sony bundle containing both the PS4 and PS Vita may be coming. The listing indicates that the Ultimate Player Bundle, which includes a PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita slim model, will be available as of July 4th in France. Another listing was found in a supposed Best Buy circular, highlighting the bundle for $560. At this point, it's hard to say if the rumors are true, but hey, E3 is upon us. Speaking of E3 being upon us, some developers just can't wait for next week to show you what's coming. And we've got several new trailers on our hands, so let's round up all the latest footage in our We Just Can't Wait for E3 trailer roundup. Middle Earth Shadow of Mortar got a pretty awesome looking cinematic trailer that showcased Talion's quest for vengeance and some pretty awesome looking wraith powers. Along with the trailer, two new runes have been revealed that can be gained by signing up for a WBID account and using the Palantir companion app after the game launches. Borderlands the pre-sequel also got a jazzy new trailer complete with moon dancing, argyle weapons, and a look at the rise of Handsome Jack. The trailer ended with a release date reveal of October 14th in the US and October 17th elsewhere. Pre-ordering the game will give you access to the Shock Drop Slaughter Pit bonus content. CD Projekt Red has given us a wealth of new info for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, starting with a brand new trailer that contains a mix of awesome cinematics, gorgeous gameplay, and witching. The trailer debuted alongside the developer's own press conference that showcased some brand new gameplay. Also revealed was the box art for the game and the fact that you can get your hands on The Witcher 3 stickers, a game map, a compendium, and the soundtrack just by buying a regular retail edition of the game. The dead are rising on the PC. Dead Rising 3 was confirmed for a PC release today, complete with Steam achievements, cloud support, and controller support. And what better way to celebrate a game porting to the PC than with a new trailer? Dying Light has a new gameplay trailer just in time for E3, which shows the protagonist making use of his parkour in zombie smashing skills before beating a hasty retreat from some truly terrifying nighttime monsters just goes to show you nothing will keep you alive in the zombie apocalypse like some good old free running. Don't worry guys, we still managed to save some info for the actual week of E3. Mortal Kombat X will be revealing at least part of its roster during E3, including two brand new fighters. The info comes from franchise creator Ed Boon, who responded to a fan asking about roster reveals by saying, yes, two of my new favorites will be at E3. Boon also promised more of the plot would be revealed, so stick around. And that's your fix for June 5th. I'm Naomi Kyle, and be sure to get your fix anytime online at IGN. Like today's episode of The Daily Fix? Make sure to subscribe to IGN News. We'll bring you updates on video games, movies, TV, and tech all day, every day. Subscribe at youtube.com slash IGN News.